Hello, my name is Daniel, and today I'd like to talk to you about something interesting. These super cool transitions that I've been working on for the past five minutes. Look how cool I can just transition from one area to the next. Okay, let's talk about the real thing. We're going to be talking about xCloud streaming and why you can't play it on iOS. So the news today was that Xbox Game Pass's Ultimate is going to be including this xCloud streaming. It's a $15 a month service. You get Xbox Live Gold. You get Xbox Game Pass. You get some additional, you know, DLC things similar to Twitch Prime. And you get access to the Game Pass for PC. And now you get xCloud, which means you can take your Sony phone and stream Xbox games before you can even really stream PlayStation games. I know there's remote play, but we're going to be talking more about the cloud streaming if you just don't have the console or if you want to use the whole PlayStation Now subscription because you don't have the game downloaded on your PlayStation, so the PS3 library and things like that. But the interesting thing is that this service isn't going to be available on iOS anytime soon until Apple decides to change their policies. This isn't Microsoft being like, well, we just don't want to support iOS right now because we see iOS as the competition. You know, we're releasing an Android device sometime this year. That's not the reason why. They'd love to have it on iOS and have that $15 subscription attached to that. You know, they'd love to do that, but Apple won't allow it. And even if they do allow it, it is going to be very restricted and they want 30% of the profits when a streaming service by definition is something that spends a lot of money to make a lot of money. Apple's response to all this is that, hey, we're not anti-competitive. Look how much money we've facilitated. This is all the payments basically or an estimated amount of payments that happen within the App Store ecosystem. So if you used an app to buy a physical good, so if like you used a retail app like Target or Best Buy, if you bought a digital, you know, Candy Crush <laughs> thing or whatever, that's included. And then if you were viewing advertisement for other mobile games while playing a mobile game, that is included in that. So the figure, the reasoning that Apple's putting out, it's like, hey, we make money from this purple section. We don't make money from this blue section anymore. We don't make money from this pink section. We only make money from this purple section. And look how much money is being made. And yes, we do make a lot of money, but we don't make that much. You know, is the idea behind this graph. The reason for having this study that Apple commissioned, as we can see in the document, support for the study was provided by Apple, which basically means, in research terms, Apple paid for this study to happen. <laughs> it's an independent study, our views are our own, but Apple did commission the study and give us all the data for it. Uh, I'm not saying that the information in here is false, I'm just saying that's a little bit misleading and a little bit incomplete. And we can see this in the breakdown of this $61 billion, because Apple doesn't give the breakdown for the $61 billion. And I assume the reason is that video and music streaming is probably not that big. As long as you don't say that you're a subscription service, you're allowed to have a subscription service like Spotify, like Netflix, and not have Apple take that 30%. If you never had Spotify and you go onto an iOS device and you want to use the premium option, there's no way for you to buy the premium option without going to Spotify.com yourself. You can't just click a link on the app to go to it, you can't just buy it directly, you know, you have to go through their website, but they can't tell you that you have to go through your website, they just have to say, well, it's a, it can't work for whatever reason. And that's how video and music streaming have gotten by that, and I'm pretty sure that number's low because of that. Anyways, let's talk about gaming <laughs> after all of this stuff. So about three years ago, <laughs> Microsoft teased that they would have an Xbox game streaming service within three years. And given that this is launching in September, I'd say that it's true. Apple's policies, they have these policies, these review guidelines that every developer has to follow if they want their app to be on the App Store. I've had to follow this, I've gotten my app rejected for not abiding by this. And what did I do to not do this? Well, it was part of my metadata. It's basically I put a subtitle that said, now on iOS, when you click on the app. So usually you'll see something below, you'll see the app name and then you'll see something below it. And they're like, no, you can't put the word iOS. You can put the word iOS in the description, you can't put it as a subtitle. It was just a weird thing to get it denied and they didn't tell me that I didn't have to go through the process again, like that I could just submit it directly and then they would just fix it and everything. It was confusing. But I got it in, it's there, you can play it, Space Bunny with an exclamation point on it. Anyways, let's go to this part of the document, everyone's favorite section of the App Store guidelines, 3.2a of the subscriptions permissible usage page. And basically it says, you may offer a single subscription that is shared across your own apps, 
but these subscriptions may not extend to third-party apps or services. Subscriptions work on all user devices where the app is available. And so basically it's like you can have a subscription service as long as you're not using other third-party services. So like you can have a Spotify app, but you can't have a Spotify Hulu subscription. Something like that, you know. You can have it, but you can't have it that way, which made sense. So if you had something like PlayStation Now or Xbox X Cloud or Stadia or GeForce Now or whatever other streaming service on live for those of you that remember those days <laughs> in the early 2010s, um, you can offer a subscription service. And remember, this was a month after this thing. We get this update, this addendum. And before I show you this addendum, I just want you to know that it has nothing to do with Microsoft wanting to enter game streaming. It has nothing to do with game streaming. Just want to make that clear that what you're about to see has nothing to do with any of that. This is totally unrelated to any sort of thing about a game publisher trying to go onto iOS and start a subscription service there. They added this new line. Games offered in a game subscription must be owned or exclusively licensed by the developer. Example, not part of a game publishing platform. Each game must be downloaded directly from the App Store, must be designed to avoid duplicate payment by subscriber, and should not disadvantage non-subscriber customers. That is very specific. Date, December 21st. When did this become a thing? November 7th. <laughs> so, I mean, you could say, well, the writing was on the wall, you know? And this is probably around the time that in addition, they were seeing all these game streaming services. Uh, I think Game Pass started to be a thing in 2017. Apple was probably considering Apple Arcade. We know that Apple Arcade released last year, that they teased it in 2019. That is part of the reason. But I also think that this is also the reason, especially the part with not part of a game publishing platform. Because really, who, what kind of game publishing platform is there that want to get into game streaming? PlayStation had been doing it for at least two years before this point. Um, you know, Steam, potentially, and Xbox. Those were really the only big players. I think NVIDIA was sort of experimenting with their side of things. But in terms of game publishing platform, the really only ones you could think of were Steam, Xbox, and PlayStation. So it's very specific, very specific wording. And this is the reason that if we go to today, three years later, or two and a half years later, um, this is still the verbiage today that you cannot have a streaming service subscription at all It's just not allowed on iOS. I don't think there's gonna be a lot of videos on the internet pointing out about 3.1.2 through 2a Permissible uses of the subscription services on the App Store in the business category of the App Store guidelines But I thought I'd like to point it out and explain to that so I know this was a very long video and that most people will not watch it. I expect maybe like two or three people to actually see this, but it's something I wanted to talk about before I move into the next phase of this channel, the direction I want to go in as a game developer, as a video content creator. And so on the 21st, I'll be revealing that. I'll be live streaming it on Mixer, which is gonna be funny because it's the last thing on Mixer. I want to show off this game and this video idea that I have and so if you want to see that I'll be doing maybe a really long live stream I don't think it'll be 24 hours I don't even know if you could do a 24 hour live stream on Mixer given that it's shutting down on the 22nd but on the 21st we'll just do a huge blowout stream and I'll be revealing a bunch of stuff and premiering my video and my game so be on the lookout for that